Right. Mila, Honeycomb Care, W3444. We have the error message of doom. Three flashing bars, two flashing lights. We know from my other videos that this won't clear just by turning it off. Um, what we have to do, what I'm going to show you here, is how to take the front panel off and clear all the water out the bottom. Um, so the first thing to do is to get empty the water from the washing machine. There's a key in here. So basically, you open this. Turn that. Don't let the dog drink this. <laughs> Don't undo it all the way, otherwise you get loads of the stuff. It, we might as well just check that it's reasonably clean, not full of fluff, and there's no gold gold ingots in there. Okay, right. So that's all the water drained out of the drum. This, in case you don't know, is to open the door. In fact, we'll do that. There you go. See how that works. Put that, put that back in. I don't want it to unexpectedly dribble everywhere. Okay, and there's not a huge amount in there now. So that's one metric dog bowl full of water. Okay, action. To get the front off, we will need a Torx T20 driver and a uh, 10 millimeter socket. Cool, uh, first thing to do is to Take this off, otherwise it tries to come off with the whole door, and that's a pain in the neck. And this is where your dog bowl comes in handy. Cat bowls may be used. Okay, that's that. We also take this off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And underneath, there are one, two, and then three, four on the other side of these things. That one doesn't do anything, it just holds this clip on. I'm not quite sure what Mila were up to when they designed this thing, but hey ho, you know. I'm sure they had a reason for putting in an extra 30 pence of cost into the build. And you have to, so that's the bit that holds it on. Yeah. And same on the other side. Oh, get the right one, that's the big one. On the outside. Okay, and if I was really being safe, I would have unplugged this, or at least turned it off, but hey-ho, do this at your own risk. <sighs> right, next thing to do is to put the dog bowl out of the way, so you don't want to tread on that, and throw your screws everywhere, it causes much swearing. Uh, right, before we take the front off, Take the um, oh. take this off. To do that, you go in under the bottom. That's where this spring is. Leave the spring round off the seal. Oh, oh, oh. There's your joke, David. And this will now come loose. Bosh. Okie koki. So we're now can pull the box. Oh man, that was good. Ta da! Front of washing machine. Put that somewhere safe. Right, now we're looking at the bottom. And you can see in here it's all wet. It's got wet in it. Yeah, it's about a centimetre deep. That's why it's given us the fault warnings. This is the sensor here. That's the water switch. Um, and the question is, where the heck is it slowly dripping from? So what I'm thinking of doing is putting a sheet of paper in here, uh, running a single cycle, and then pulling the sheet out and see where it's got 
where the wet drips are. That's the idea. And currently it takes about a fortnight before this fills up again. So I have to do this every two weeks, which is mildly tedious. But hey ho. It's not bad for a 15 year old washing machine that's had a lot of use. Oh, the old Action, yeah. Okay, so before we put the door on, the first thing we have to do is make sure that the, the release, the manual release, is threaded through here. Okay. And then we can slide it on. Oh, come on. It's a bit of a pain in the neck to do on your own. Oops. Lift the bottom of the door out. Locate the two club on. Ensure there's no small children listening. We start swearing, that's good. Oh, I bother, it's come through. <laughs> Get back in there, you. Yay, thank you very much. Helpful camera person. Once you've got the first one in, life becomes a lot easier. Yeah. Okie dokie, and then, oh, yeah, let's get, the, get this bad boy in. There'll be much swearing if this doesn't line up. That's it, so that's pulled through. Gently does it. One. Two. Okay, and don't forget to do it with seal. Can be a bit tricky just making sure the whole thing get in there come on come to papa <clears throat> there must be a better way i haven't got the angle this bit yet Okay, that's the seal, and you've got the sealing hoop. Bum, 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 bum. Right, make sure that's all, all on all the way round, otherwise you're gonna have a very wet piece of paper. Wet floor, and then we got our last bolt. Turn that up. Okay, close the door. Turn it on, cross your fingers. Ta da! You now have a happy working washing machine. Thanks very much for listening. If you like, don't forget to leave a comment.
<laughs> unsubscribe, wherever that might be. <laughs> Thanks for watching.